we're calling out Thousand Trails. That, again, another thing the company doesn't want you to know about. Not cool. It's so old school that they need to stop this tactic. This great adventure. What's up, guys? In a recent video, uh, Biggest RV Regrets and Secrets, we had several of you that didn't know what Thousand Trails was. So we're going to actually take the time to explain about it in more detail and share some dirty secrets about Thousand Trails that they don't want you to know about. I'm Tom with enjoythejourney.life. Plus stick around till the end because I'm gonna share a couple of Thousand Trails booking hacks that I have not shared publicly before. So what is Thousand Trails? It is a membership-based camping group that uh, has 81 core RV parks. The basics start out with something called a camping pass. I think it's $5.99 a year. And that allows you to spend 14 days in this group of RV parks and campgrounds. Then you have to actually leave for at least seven days. And after that, you can go back in for up to another 14 days. So theoretically, you could spend three out of four weeks in a Thousand Trails park. Now there's more things available, something called the Encore Trails Collection, which is another 110 RV parks with an add-on of around $2.99 a year. Oh, and there's zones. That's right. With your basic camping pass, you get one zone and there's five zones in the country. So for $59, you can add additional zones depending on what part of the country you want to camp in. Does it already sound confusing? Well, I'm gonna talk about that more in just a bit. Now with the Encore Trails collection, there's a few parks that have a extra $20 a night fee. There's some of the premium parks like Sunshine RV Park uh, that we've mentioned down on the Florida Keys that we really love and a few of the other nicer parks, but that's only with the Encore Trails collection. All of the Thousand Trails parks, it's no additional charge for those 14 days. With the basic camping pass, you can book 60 days in advance. Of course, that's just the basic camping pass with the Trails collection, but there are several other levels after that which get you more benefits, like being able to stay three and up to four weeks in a Thousand Trails core park and being able to reserve those camp spots up to 180 days in advance. Plus another benefit is the ability to be able to go from park to park within the Thousand Trails system so you don't have to spend seven days out. One of the things with the higher packages, it seems like you often get placed in some of the nicer spots available. Plus there's some family benefits. So are you still confused? Well, that's one of the dirty secrets I'm gonna share with you is that Thousand Trails is confusing. Why does it have to be this way? I know many of you have probably looked at Thousand Trails and throw your hands up in the air and say, I can't deal with all this membership stuff and levels and whatnot. And, and seriously, they need to make that better. So that is definitely something that you wanna know going into it. Prepare for a lot of information. You kinda of have to sift through it. One of the reasons it's probably this confusing is because they keep changing the benefits and all the old agreements are grandfathered in, so to speak. So literally there are hundreds of different versions of the levels going back many, many years. So that just makes it even more confusing. Sometimes there's no availability or limited spaces available. So if it's the busy season, you might not get into the park you want to get into. Thousand Trails is nationwide and a few parks in Canada but it's really only on the coasts. So if you're gonna be camping in the middle of the country, there really isn't many parks available. And there are lots of rules. I mean, and those rules could vary from park to park. You're not guaranteed a specific site. 
you're guaranteed a site, but it may not have the power you want. For example, 30 amp instead of 50 amp, and you may not get full hookups. So the blue tote is gonna be your friend. Some sites and parks might be awesome, like this one at Orlando RV Resort, but many of them are not. Some of them are run down and could use some basic upkeep and tight spaces. We can't even fit in all of them. Look how close those are. What is the deal? Um, are you serious? Is that one site? This is, oh, that does look like one site. Oh yeah. my gosh. These are tight. We got a really awesome spot here at Orlando RV Resort, but in the same park, there are some spaces here that we would not even fit into. It would not be a very fun stay. And one of the biggest dirty secrets is they're gonna try to upsell you on a bigger package. Like if you come in at the camping pass just to try it out, you're gonna start getting phone calls with what I would like to call as a timeshare pressure sales tactic not cool it's so old school again another thing the company doesn't want you to know about but we're calling out thousand trails that they need to stop this tactic it is not helping them to share with you the positives about thousand trails and when they call you they will discourage you from buying a used membership why well they don't make as much money what is a used membership? I'm gonna tell you more about that. We think used memberships are the bomb. You can save around 50% off of the different packages out there. And many of these memberships actually have grandfathered in benefits that are better than some of the newer contracts that they are selling right now. A couple of negatives with used memberships is they're not transferable, unlike the brand new ones. And you have to go through a transfer process, which can take some time and is actually taking a little bit longer with the pandemic going on. So if you're in a real big hurry to get going, you may wanna look at new, but if you've got some time to wait, uh, you can definitely save a lot of money. And the place where we bought our used membership was through Campground Membership Outlet and with Kimberly, she is the expert and we will link to their website down below so you can get all the detailed information. And she is awesome with sorting all of this out. I would not attempt to go out and buy a used membership without some professional help because you might end up getting something that you don't really understand or doesn't really work for you. So with all these negatives, is Thousands Trail still worth it? Well, think of it like your favorite sports team. Do they always make you happy? No. Do they make mistakes? Yes. Well, that is a good analogy for thousand trails they are not perfect they have plenty of flaws make plenty of mistakes but they're still the best membership out there for all that they have to offer and if you're willing to look through some of these crazy complicated details restrictions and rules and you really want to save money camping with mostly full hookups in some pretty cool places all around the country you definitely should check it out that would be our recommendation when you look at the cost of even a higher end membership what we paid was a little under four thousand uh, dollars i should say that you do have to pay that in cash well when i say cash it just means that you have to pay in full via a credit card and if you're like us, you can use a credit card that you plan to pay off, but you earn like some kind of travel rewards. And that's a pretty good chunk when you're spending thousands of dollars. And then you can also maybe earn a free airline ticket that you can maybe use a few years in the future <laughs> when everything is back to normal mm -hmm. again. If you buy directly from Thousand Trails, there are monthly payment plans. So something else to consider but we have this membership for life now so 
for however many years we decide to RV going forward, all we have to do is pay a yearly maintenance fee. It's like $600 a year. That is on monthly payments, actually. And we have access to, it's nearly 200 parks altogether. And our membership level gives us access to 21 days uh, stay, a three week stay at all of the Thousand Trails core RV parks. So I'm not gonna come across saying that Thousand Trails is something you should do. It's definitely an individual choice. It is a lot of money. And if you are not a full-time RVer like we are, or you really prefer boondocking a lot, it may not be worth it to you. But if you prefer being in RV parks with full hookups, a few more amenities, and you want to save money as well, you should definitely look at it. I would recommend starting out with the camping pass. You can't get that used. That you have to go through thousand trails it's uh, normally 5.99 a year but there is a link down in the description where you can knock a hundred dollars off of that and then you can decide to add whatever zone pass to that and again the trails collection i believe it's 2.99 and you can set that up on a monthly payment it's well under a hundred dollars a month and get access to well you, you add up all the weeks that you could spend. It's two weeks at a time, one week out, and then you can go back in for two weeks. So you can add up the benefits, but you can try it out that way. And if you say, this is not for me, you, you're not obligated. After the end of that year, you can say, forget about it and go on to paying whatever you normally pay for campgrounds. So I think at the minimum, if you at least use it a few weeks, uh, or four weeks, you're gonna get your money's worth out of it and then you'll have an idea if it's something that you wanna continue. Actually, can't wait to get back into the Thousand Trails system because this RV park is not Thousand Trails and it is expensive. We are actually getting ready to leave here in just a few short weeks and heading north all the way up to Wisconsin and that stay for a couple of weeks we'll be at one of our favorite Encore Trails collection parks for two weeks for no charge. So we are looking forward to our stay at that one. Now for some Thousand Trails booking hacks that I have not shared publicly before. The first one is if the park is not that busy and you've stayed 14 days or 21 or whatever it looks like and you really like it and you want to stay longer or something comes up an emergency or whatever then you can actually ask the management if you can stay longer and we have done this several times when it's like the off season ask the management they end up calling the thousand trails office and i think we got an extra several weeks for no charge so that's something to keep in mind that those 14 and 21 day 28 day rules are not necessarily completely hard and fast the next one is be observant of those booking windows so if you have 60 days to book you want to be ready to book right when that window opens if you call the office, which you can do to reserve, or you can do them online, it's really easy to reserve online, and you get it right at that 60-day window opening, you really increase your chances of getting into the site you want. Also remember that cancellations happen, so even if you get turned down the first time you try, just keep trying each day because people cancel their plans all the time and you never know when a spot might open up. I wanna give a shout out to Thousand Trails for being a really great example during the pandemic. Uh, one of the things that they did back in April when things got shut down, they let in many of the parks across the country campers stay all the way through the month during the major part of the shutdown for no additional charge. Our friends uh, live in our vision, Brian and Michelle. Actually, they've got some videos about that, how they stayed in the park. So it's super cool that they did that. We have some friends that have also made videos about Thousand Trails. Jason and Ray from Getaway Couple 
They said yes to Thousand Trails and we will link to their video down below. Also Phil and Stacy from You, Me and the RV, they said no. Come on guys, it's worth it. I know you guys like to boondock more, so but we're gonna link to their video below as well to you know show their perspective and why they said no. So again, if you want to try out the camping pass, you can't buy that used, but you can save a hundred dollars by using our link down in the description. So what are you gonna choose? We really want to know. Let us know in the comments if you said yes or no, or what else you think about Thousand Trails. If you have some more uh, booking hacks or tips, please share those as well down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing, and we will see you guys in the next video. So long. Stop.